So it's that time again. I'm giving you a heads up, all right? That's what the purpose of this video is. But Retrobit, they got some new cartridges coming out. For the Sega Genesis, these are official releases from Toplin. Yeah, they previously, I don't remember exactly when. I know I did videos on them. It's been a little while though, but the Toplin Shooters collection, they did the uh, first collection, it was four cartridges. It was uh, Truxton, Hellfire, Fire Shark, and Zero Wing, uh, four of them. Now they're doing the uh, collection two, the second collection. Uh, Pre-orders are going live today, so that is pretty cool. This one's gonna have uh, several games, three games. That first Toplin Shooters collection, that volume one, I I've been seeing these things going for freaking ridiculous money. The these retro bit collections, these collector's editions, these, you know, retro re-releases i don't know why like a lot of these they'd be going for crazy money like later on on the secondary market I, it, it's ridiculous in my opinion but they do they do so if these are games that mean something to you if you love physical media and these are games that you played before or you you know want to play you want to have them physically in these cool little packages i say pre-order them if not it's cool it's not for everyone i get it I guess it. There's many ways to play. This is just a cool, you know, way to have a physical copy, right? But there's multiple ways you can go about this. You could either get the collector set, get all three of the games. It's going to be Twin Cobra, so you get that slap fight, and then a Grindstormer. So you could buy each individual game. Say one doesn't tickle it for you, or you could buy it in the whole package. Each game, I believe, is $54.99, or if you want the whole package, it's $159.99. But if you get that whole package, it does come with some extra stuff. So um, in the collector's edition, the whole thing, it'll have like a slip cover with all three games. And I'll talk about and show like how each game is presented because they each have like a special shell. They come with a full color manual, all that stuff, you know, slip cover for each, you know, hard case for the uh, Genesis game. And, you know, each cartridge is going to be a different color, typically like see-through transparent color. And they're always like a special material. I don't know what the hell they're using, but these these cartridges are freaking nice. Beveled edge for the uh, PCB, right? And typically on the back, usually, I'll have to double check these on the renders that they provided in the press release. But typically they'll have like the logo or something that you could see. They're, they're nice package, but with the collector's edition, if you get all three games, like $159.99, uh, it comes with a like a digital clock, like a Toaplin clock. It looks pretty cool. And you get, you know how I feel about this, but they throw them in there. You get an exclusive puffy sticker set, dude. You get some puffy stickers. I don't care about stickers, just being honest. I don't care about stickers, dude. Some people, though, I do see people that love freaking stickers, man. Just because I don't give a crap about stickers, that doesn't mean anything. If you love stickers, cool, dude. More power to you. I say I don't like stickers, and I don't. I'm looking at, I got this, like, metal case, like, to the left of me, like a storage case that you'd put, like, tools in, but I have video games in it. I have like a TurboGrafx-16 sticker right there, Super Mario sticker, a Super Nintendo sticker, little Super NES controller stickers. I use stickers when I get them. I'll put them on stuff. I ain't going to lie, but I'm just not like, I don't get excited about it, you know? That's all. I just, I don't know. Like, because a lot of times, like stuff like this, right? This is what my point is with stickers. I'm going to get off it in a second. Like these things that I'm talking about, these stickers, they came in like little things. Like somebody was like, hey, here are some stickers. I'll take them, throw them on there. There'll be like electronic tech decals. I'll put them on some shit, right? I'll bam, just put them on storage thing, right? But when it's like a collector's edition video game and it comes with stickers, like I don't want to use them for anything. It's part of a package. Like I'll never, you, you get a collector's edition game, you're never going to want to use the things that come with it, right? Like, that clock will be cool because you're not going to mess it up. You might use it, put it on your desk, right? It's a usable item. But the stickers, like, you could always put that clock back in the packaging. You know what I mean? The stickers, the second you take them off and you put them on something, that's it. You, you're not getting them back. They're done. That's, I don't, I don't like, that's why I don't like stickers in the collector's dish. That's just... 
okay, I'm done. No more talk about stickers. But okay, you get the puffy ass stickers. And then you get the special interview uh, with the developer, uh, Masahiro Yuj, if I'm saying his name correctly. I believe the first set came with something similar with him, but this one's like a different little thing. So these pre orders, they go live as of this video going live. Uh, Limited Run Games is going to be selling it. Um, Rondo Products in Canada, PMP Games, Europe. Ned Games, Spell and Sant, Dragon Box Shop, Extra Life, Just for Cables, and plenty of other places. Retrobit will have, uh, you know, on their website. I typically post Rondo Products uh, link. They're legit. They're, you know, official through Retrobit. Rondo Products, link down below. Pre-order through them. They'll take care of you. Uh, I'm an affiliate of Rondo Products. So, yeah, you know, helps me out a little tiny bit. You know, get your get your games but yeah these are these are cool little collection everything that you get uh let me see what the uh, colors of these all are grindstormer you're getting a crystal shield cartridge they always have to have a you know weird little name you get a reversible uh inlay sleeve for each game which is pretty cool individually numbered sleeve embellished slip cover right so that was a uh, grindstormer let me pull up the next one slap fight uh, oh, this one's kind of cool. You get a, uh, it's got a, a reorchestrated soundtrack by the uh, renowned video game composer Yuzo Koshiro, and it's a Cosmic Flare cartridge. I think this one is this one the one that's like the first time in North America or something. I think so. I think one of these games was maybe it's Slap Fight. And then the final one, Twin Cobra. What was that one? Black Hawk cartridge. So yeah. Yeah, you're getting that Black Hawk cartridge. So nice little package. If you're interested, cool. $54.99 per cartridge if, if you want it that way, right? If you want it that way. If you want that full set that comes with them puffy-ass stickers and that, that digital clock, it's $159.99. The, the pre-orders start now, and they go through... Um, let me double-check. Pre-orders start now. And they go through December 1st. So they will only produce as many as are pre-ordered. Maybe a couple extras for, you know, press samples. And maybe if, like, FedEx stomps on one or something. I, I don't know. They might have a few extras. But they always have, like, you know, the, they serialize them type of thing. They, you know, whatever. They put the numbers on them. So they'll make how, how many ever are pre-ordered. That's it. And these ones always, like I said, that secondary market. I don't know why. These retro bit releases, man. They'd be fetching some money. It just doesn't, it's crazy. It's crazy. But they do a good job with these releases. So I, I guess it makes sense. If people miss out, they want to get them later on. But don't miss out if you really want it. I understand. I understand. Sometimes you have no choice. But let I me mean, know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.